I mean, we're just gonna pretend that my hair isn't the mess that it is. I've been running a mile every day and I'm really proud of myself, but like doing my hair after that is not a thing. <laughs> so we're just gonna pretend that it's not, it doesn't look like this, cause it does and it's bad. <laughs> but I just wanted to film this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name's Kristen, what's up? So today I'm gonna be filming something that I've already filmed before, but we're gonna just pretend that I didn't film it before. Um, I was having issues with my microphone. Actually, I think I'm still having this. Is it now off? Is that on? Hello? Now it's recording. Okay, so anyway, um, I don't have a ton of foundations, I feel like. I probably have like 10 foundations, which I know sounds like a lot, but for someone who loves makeup, and I have probably, I don't want to tell you how many eyeshadow palettes I have, it's way too many, but... <laughs> For the amount of eyeshadow palettes I have and the amount of makeup that I just really love, like eyeshadow is, I mean, not eyeshadow, psh, what are we talking about? Foundation has been something that I've just ignored. Now that they're broadening the shade range for pretty much every, um, everything. I know there have been a couple of, um, what am I saying? Okay, now that they're broadening the shade range for almost every brand, um, I'm more interested in foundation. Also, my skin is like, the older I get, the less my skin wants to just like be even and smooth. <laughs> so I have to work on a little bit more and I haven't been. So foundation has been my go-to lately for that. So I don't know, whatever. But today we are trying the Tarte uh, face tape Trying today um, you guys will see me do a ton of foundation reviews um, Because I need to find ones that I love and I really don't have any that I love I have some that I like I have some that are pretty good that you know Those are the ones that I grab but only because I don't have that many because it's not something that I've always used it's just whatever this is more of a new thing for me because my my skin man like it used to be like much better than this like i look at pictures of old me and i'm like wow i wasn't even wearing foundation that day now i'm like oh my god it's necessary <laughs> so um anyway let's go ahead and try this out it says that it is um a uh, full coverage with a natural matte finish, which I like. Uh, my skin is oily in the T-zone, like completely oily. My nose is the oiliest thing of life. So um, when we do our wear test, if my nose needs powdering during the day, that's not going to be a deal breaker for me as to whether or not this is going to be a good foundation for me. I just have a super oily face and it just, my nose especially, just needs to be powdered during the day no matter what foundation i've used i figured out that's just what it is so if if that happens it's not a deal breaker um the sides of my face are normal though so if it starts breaking down on the sides of my face it's not a good one it's not good not for me anyway so um anyway it says it's transfer proof waterproof and sweat proof which is good because i live in florida it's humid as I don't know what outside and it's probably about 85 it says it's 85 or something like that but it feels like 90 something so it's pretty hot and I run after my kids all day so we're gonna see if this is gonna be a good one for me because I do need something in the summertime that is transfer water and sweat proof those all sound like winners to me um, I don't know why I'm starting with this one to start off like the whole foundation thing I just um, went in Ulta to pick something up and when I go to Ulta with the kids I just or so for anywhere with makeup or something they can grab I just really have to like 
focus on that one thing that I was getting but you know I got distracted and I walked down the tart aisle and I grabbed this because if I do not stay focused and just run in and run right back out the kids will um, have swatches all over their arms and face and legs and it's so bad so um, this is just something that I just picked up on my way out so we're just gonna go ahead and try it because I'm gonna keep rambling if we don't and if you love reviews and eyeshadow tutorials and um, whatever else I come up with for us to do and on my channel go ahead and subscribe to my channel and stick around and also give this a big thumbs up if you like these foundation what am I doing foundation review <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna prime my face with my ColourPop all-star primer I'm gonna have to hurry cuz Oh my gosh, it's already 12, 25. I have to go get my daughter from school and the baby's gonna be up soon. So I really need to hurry up. Get this done. So I'm just gonna shake it up and then put some on the back of my hand. This is like really cheap. I don't really like that, but whatever. And then I'm gonna take my beauty blender. It's kind of damp. I'm just gonna do one side of my face. I don't know if I said this already, but I recorded this already. So I kind of know if I like this foundation or not, but it didn't come out right because I'm having sound issues and it's not really sound issues it's more of a user error but we're not going to talk about that right now so the color is like pretty perfect So the color is like seriously it's like spot on I really like this color and it's really really lightweight feels really good so you can see the difference on this side and then this side so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up the other side of my face and then let you guys know what I think about this foundation so far pump is stupid though. I'm going to tell you that right now. Definitely is a full coverage foundation. It's super duper lightweight smells flowery i don't like when my foundations smell like flowers or anything like that it kind of bothers me other than that i don't really have any complaints about it going on like seriously it feels it's really lightweight it feels really good so far just a smell is the only complaint that i have putting it on right now can't complain so um I'm just going to do my eyebrows, put a little powder on my eyes, some la some um, mascara, and um, probably some gloss or something. I'm not going to do anything crazy for my makeup today because I just want to see how this foundation is. You know, some concealer. I should probably do that too. Let's do my concealer and stuff.
my face this is just like you know pretty neutral face um nothing too crazy i don't think so um yeah we're just gonna see how this foundation holds up i will check in with you guys a little bit later and let you see how it's doing how this oily nose is coming along and if i'm still liking it i will have been outside in the humidity and the hotness so i'll see if it lasts in the <sighs> in the heat <laughs> i'll see if it lasts through my my glistening that i'm probably going to be doing out there and everything else um i didn't want to do like a full-on like falsies and shadow type look today because like i said i'm just showing you guys this foundation i'm just seeing how this foundation works and if it's good for me and if it's good for me then you'll know if it's good for you because like i said i have oily skin and then normal skin so we'll see if you have dry skin and it works for me maybe just a little bit of moisturizer and it'll work for you and if you have oily skin like me and it works for me then it'll work for you too <laughs> so um yeah i'm gonna go and do mom stuff and i will be back to check in with you guys and when i come back to check in i'm sure the kids will want to say hi or something so um yeah looks pretty good like, this is the most boring face of makeup that I think I've done. <laughs> um, but, you know, I just look like me with makeup on. Like, I look awake because I didn't get good sleep last night. And I've been running. I've been running. Like, I, this is my second day in a row because I'm proud of myself and pat myself on the back that I've run a mile. Um, the first time I did it since I'm so out of shape and I probably haven't, like, worked out for real, for real um since before i had my daughter and she's five and a half almost now so i um yeah i ran the mile in like 13 and a half minutes and then today it was like 11 and a half so i'm like yay you're getting better it's not so bad <laughs> but anyways i'll see you guys in a couple hours right now it's oh i forgot to tell you right now it's 12 48 so um we'll see what it looks like around four and then we'll see what it looks like around eight-ish. I don't really wear my makeup longer than that long, really. What is that? I just have crap on my teeth. <clears throat> hey guys, it is about four o'clock right now and I just came back to check in with you guys. It's been about four-ish hours since I put on this foundation and I just wanted to show you guys what it is looking like right now you can see that my nose is getting shiny and I'm starting to look like Rudolph which I told you is pretty normal pretty standard for any foundation that I use so I'm not really surprised but like the sides and stuff and my forehead and everything like that is looking good and I actually got splashed and squirted in the face with the water by my kids so I mean I can't really complain about what it looks like right now I knew that my nose it is so oily like if I could just find that one thing that would like completely mattify it and make it not oily then that'd be awesome but I haven't found that yet and when I do I'll let you know <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just powder my nose because you guys can see that it has um, 
it is eaten through this foundation the oil on my nose has already eaten through this foundation it's really bothering me so i'm gonna go ahead and powder my nose um but yeah like i said i've gotten wet uh kids have hugged me and i think it's still looking pretty good you guys ignore my hair like i told you earlier <laughs> every time i see it i'm like oh my god i need to do something with hair but let's go ahead and powder this nose while we're sitting here because I can't take it um you can sort of actually see too my smile lines are coming through so I didn't put any powder sometimes I put powder in my nose and like here and here but I didn't do that today so you can see that it is creasing a little bit where my smile lines are but nothing too bad other than that I think it's holding up really good and I've been out like I said I've been outside it's been really hot today it's been really humid today and I did get splashed in the face so they were jumping in the water so I think it's holding up pretty good for that so far <laughs> anyway I'll be back at the end of the night to check in with you guys to see how it does in about an eight hour wear test. I don't usually wear my makeup longer than eight hours. Usually after I'm done with the day I take it off like right now would be the time that I'd probably be taking it off. But since I, I put it on a little late today, I'm going to leave it on until about eight o'clock so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay hey guys I'm back now it's about nine o'clock and I am done for today with momming <laughs> so um just so you can see how this foundation is holding up um the creasing lines are still there my smile lines but they don't look any worse than they did earlier like four hours ago I feel like this foundation also doesn't give me like that weird white cast that I get sometimes on foundations because they're the wrong I don't know what's wrong with them but they just give you like an ashy feel and this foundation is not doing that this color looks really good I feel like it matches my neck it matches my hands pretty well so um yeah my nose is oily all over again that's just how my skin is um I would definitely don't look at my hair I would definitely wear this foundation again and I have actually worn this foundation um probably like twice because I tried to film this before like I said and it was completely silent and then I wore it again the day afterwards just so that I don't know I just really wanted to wear this it's really bothering I'm about to take my makeup off but I hate when my nose is oily I just wanted you guys to see what this looks like but it looks really good considering I've been wearing this probably about nine hours now and it still hasn't really completely broken down it's a little broken down around my forehead but um this probably from getting wet <laughs> the kids sprayed me again with the water hose so I got sprayed with the water hose I was sitting outside in the humid humid weather um it's really hot outside I was sweating and um still looks pretty good to me for all that stuff happening so um yeah I would definitely I would definitely wear this foundation again I really like it <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um I hope you guys like my foundation review videos like I said I will be doing a lot of these because I am trying to find those perfect foundations for me and uh, I hope they will help you try to find a foundation for yourself also if you're looking and um if you like it make sure you give this video a thumbs up and let me know what kind of stuff you use as a primer because I am looking for like my top dog holy grail like this is what I love primer for my super super oily skin like if I can find something that won't make me look so oily in my nose area after like three hours that'd be awesome but I haven't found it yet I'm looking <laughs> anyway I will see you guys in the next video bye